Who's ready for some good groceries? I know I am. Hey, I showed y'all how I did my brisket not long ago. That brisket turned out fantastic. But generally, you got some extras, you got some leftovers, and you need to do something with it. I recommend doing this breakfast brisket hash on that Blackstone griddle. <sighs> Boy, it's gonna be some good groceries. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's go. some good groceries. Hey y'all, let's get started. Got a pretty warm griddle over here. I got it on just kind of idling on low, okay? We're gonna bring in some oil. This is a little bit of avocado olive oil blend. One thing that makes breakfast hash a lot easier is using these Simply Potatoes. And this is signature, it's already seasoned, already got some onions, already got some peppers in it. They're really good. I'm gonna put these right in the center. I wanna move these around so they all get a little bit of that griddle action right there. We're gonna take our handy dandy collapsible dome here and I wanna put over these. And we're gonna let that go for eh, maybe about three minutes on this one side. We're gonna flip them. We're gonna keep doing that over and over until they're done. All right, while those potatoes are cooking, let's get over here to our cutting board. Look at this big old hunk of beef right here. That happens to be my middle name, y'all, or what my wife likes to tell me. We're gonna come in here and just lop off nice section of this still a little hard because well it was cold but once we put this thing onto the griddle magic is going to happen this happens to be a little bit of the uh a little bit of the point almost right where it kind of attaches to the flat one of my most favorite parts i'm just going to stack these on top of one another here come right down the middle just depending on what kind of chunks you want what you're feeling that day check that out Boy, that's gonna be some good groceries right there. Still a little bit at that point. It's got a little bit of fatty in it. And we need to try this. Make sure it's still good. Mm-hmm, that's still good. All right, it's been 10, 10 to 12 minutes here. And our potatoes are pretty much done. Look at that nice, nice color on them. It's exactly what you want. We're gonna slide these over to the left and get those out of the way and we're gonna put our brisket down. I wanna to try to make sure the ratios are about, about the same. We're just gonna fan this out. Uh, and we're not gonna put any oil here, guys, because the brisket still has some little bit of fat left on it, and it's gonna render its own, and that's gonna make some really goodness. All right, while our brisket and our potatoes are finishing up, we're gonna get our egg started. I have this burner here on low. I'm gonna turn it off. I, Low sometimes might not be low enough for eggs. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I use to make sure your griddle has a nice temperature to cook eggs, especially over easy eggs, okay? Just take you a little bit of water. See how vigorous that water is? Kind of steaming and moving around. That's probably a little bit too hot for some eggs. And what that water does, it absorbs that heat that's into that griddle brings that temperature down a lot faster. We're gonna start off, we're gonna use a little bit of this bacon up. I like to use this, it's really nice filtered bacon fat. Uh, gives your eggs a nice flavor. At this point, you may or may not have to cut on your griddle burner. Uh, just may have to monitor it. Next thing I like to do with my over easy eggs is to come in and break this little clear part up. And what that does is it helps cook all the way through. So just take your spatula, just kind of real easy and just break that out. And we're gonna come in, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to these eggs. While we're waiting on those eggs to cook, we're gonna take our potatoes and our brisket and put those together, make them all one happy family. We're gonna let that cook for just a little while longer. We want some of that brisket juice to get with those potatoes and the potatoes to be with the brisket, all that kind of good stuff. Right before this is done, we're gonna come in with some cheese. This happens to be just a Mexican blend cheese. Once your cheese is nice and melted, I'll put our hash onto our plate. Now our eggs, look how beautiful those eggs are. Ooh, boys. That right there is a beautiful breakfast hash. Let's head on over to the cutting board. Boy, look at this breakfast hash, y'all. We're not done. We gotta church this up a little bit. Gonna have a little bit of greenery in here, a little bit of green onions. I actually like it. it gives a little bit of that oniony taste too. Also gonna to put a little bit of this little breakfast sauce too 
on this as well, just a little bit. All we got left now is to give these groceries a try. Let's see how that runny egg is, ready? Whew. Boys and girls, boys and girls. All right, get a little bit of everything. Man, that looks good. That's a good bite right there. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That smoky goodness of that brisket, so good. That egg, nice and rich, cutting through. Scallions, also the seasoned potatoes, that sauce. It all just plays well, my friends. This is good. Y'all, your next brisket cook, make sure you do this breakfast hash. I guarantee you will love it. Y'all, it's that part of this show where I like to recognize some of the folks out in Griddle Nation space. The first folks I want to recognize is Griddle and Vittles with Nick and Jay. Y'all, they just came over to the Griddle crew and they are absolutely crushing it. Guys, I appreciate you what you do. Keep on crushing it. Next is part of Griddle Nation who actually, they just post pictures on Instagram and just for the world to know, and they love their Blackstone Griddle. Kansky Cooks, this mahi-mahi that they cooked, man, it looks so dang delicious. I love some mahi-mahi myself. And that side of broccoli ain't so shabby either. Well, y'all, hey, I appreciate each and every one of you for contributing to Griddle Nation. And if you haven't already, go on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll see other awesome videos just like this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.